Hello, this is Yellow Hobo, and we're playing Kenshi again, picking up where we left off. We are leveling up our sneak and strength again, if you're <laughs> ever wanting to do this, you want to have these red arrows all around you. Because the more you have around you and you're not getting attacked, it's better. It looks like these people are just getting their athletics up, that's kind of what my training looks like right there. But anyways, we're going to probably do this for the remainder of the day. I'll go ahead and introduce the other two. We have Maribel, which you can kind of see her. <laughs> She's clustered in the pack. And we have Daft. Got to bring all the peeps in, in my life that means something to me. If you want a character in this game, just write down in the comments and I'll get you in the game. Because these are going to be our main five of our story. Other than that, everybody else will be warriors and workers. And, you know, rangers, etc. Whatever you really want. I'm not biased on what you got, or what you want to play as. I'll bring in Shex and uh, others, too, whenever I want to. Oh, my disguise is blown. No. Just seen that. <laughs> That's crazy. But, whatever you want to actually... Well, daft. I only had daft. Oh, well. Like I was saying, though, whenever you want to actually pick something, just tell me and I'll I'll play whatever you want to play on there. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the show, and we're going to go ahead and get past this training. So a little progress report. Uh, Daft's our newest. He's got 19th Street, 34th Stealth, so that's really good. Got to keep on getting them, getting them leveled up. Daft came with skills to use pretty much any melee, and Maribel is like by far already trained to be a archer so she's going to be my turret person and crossbow person for the time being whenever I actually get turrets we've already got defensive walls trained up and we got the uh, mounted crossbows plus the harder hitting mounted crossbow tech that way we can uh, wreck some things whenever they come attack us. But we're not quite ready to make a base just yet, but we will. So this guy has, like, he's missing a leg. And <laughs> he's got really high stats. Like, I want to... Let me, let me show you real quick. He's got defense 40, which plus 11. He's probably running block. He's got 20 attack, 14... He's been beat up quite a bit, and I don't know what's going on, but my drifters are getting beat up by the Holy Nation Outlaws. Don't know why, but I'm going to recruit this guy and see what his stats are. Ten thousand cats. I got to pay ten thousand for you? Nah. No thanks. <laughs> we'll go we'll go our separate ways. I just saved you from that city. Just sit out here and don't get go back in there because you're gonna get ate up. So do you remember what this looked like before? Cause I do. Every seat filled up with drifters. I don't understand, man. And the like I have this drifter stone. I don't know how but I guess it's a new uh, this one's new. But I don't understand while they attacked each other because I guess it's taken over by the Holy Nation and the trade ninjas were here but the Holy Nation was beating the crud out of them and they got their own building so we're going to go ahead and browse his wares and we need to sell pretty much all of our stuff we're going to keep these three weighted down but there's no point in keeping YOLO and Raging Trucker down so we're going to convoy out and see what trouble we can get into. That was raging. I was about to say, because I got brand new med kits for everybody. All right, so they don't have any more of that. So let's buy the food we can get here. And this is what I've just been doing this whole time, buy food, I don't care. Uh, we, we're not gonna buy the bread, that's a rip off. <laughs> we have standards on how much we spend. All right, so. We're going to go ahead and go to the regular vendors throughout the city and get everything sold up and then we're going to meet you back on the road if you can. Also, if you ever have yourself in a position where you're buying things, do not buy cooked vegetables. It costs 388. If you can buy a Gohan, 
it costs three ninety nine. You see the seventy five NU on the nutrition. This only gives you twenty five. It's not good. So don't waste your time buying that. I'm if you've played the game any, I'm probably you know speaking blo- uh, you know BS out of my mouth, <laughs> or not even BS. You know stuff you've already known. Like it's you know rhetorical but the people that haven't played this game that's good information to have right also try not to buy the meat wraps neither or dust switches just because like these are good in a pinch if you need food and you can't find anything else if you're not playing with this mod you're not gonna have all these options right see like i get to buy from every single person in this place just because i have a mod that makes it a little that portion of this on Genesis is a little easier just because, I mean, why fight to feed yourself? But these dust switches, they give you 70 nutrients. Gohan, 75, right? And it's a uh, big difference. 400, almost $400 difference on the two. So we're not going to be doing any of that. We can see we've spent about 4K now on a good amount of food. We're going to feed our prisoner too. <laughs> I'm probably going to leave two of these go- Gohans with him so he doesn't die. Just that, just just so we can beat on him a little bit more for a little bit more training. I feel like that's, I mean, it's kind of necessary. You can also buy these and cook them, but by the time you get done doing it, you're not really saving any money. I mean, you save 30, 30 cats, so you're not losing a whole lot, but you can do that if you really want a penny pinch, but we're not doing that today. All right, so you can see we're about to leave four of these Gohans with this guy. He's a little hungry, but these should sate him. And maybe one meat, just in case we take a little bit too extra, <laughs> too much time to actually do anything, because he's a little hungry right now. He's at 164. Not too bad. I mean, 200 is where you want to be at. Our people, you can see, are all well-fed, or they should be at least. So they're all t- over 200, even even Daft, even Gondima. Gondima likes to uh, keep himself a little hungry, though. Everybody knows that, though, from the PZ playthrough. But we're about to go on our way out. I want to show you our downstairs right here. We have over 100 raw iron, four of these iron plates, and 15 of these building materials. And I know someone did not just throw their stuff in here. Gonro, was it you? No, it was Mari Bill. Mari, we talked about this. You gotta be overweight. <laughs> also, a slight change to Ganima. He is now becoming an archer to fit my roles. So we have three frontline and two archers. I wasn't able to secure another Scorchlander, and I literally went over to Veins Pass and Squin looking for him. I didn't go over to Iron Haven, but. I mean, really wouldn't be there either. Maybe it would have, but <clears throat> I didn't want to waste more time. I just wanted to get their skills up to where I wanted them at so we can go watch them either get beat up or beat up people. So that's what we're doing right now. And there's the bandit tower over there. There's the dust bandit bosses there. We're not quite ready for that yet. He would uh, wipe the floor with us. Plus, just the dust bandits themselves would wipe the floor with us. We're trying to path to Iron Haven and they took wrong way and I was not paying attention I just wanted to showcase that anyway so it worked out discover an outpost okay wonders we'll go to this one see what it, see what it is so we got a wild bone dog we'll see if it attacks us I think we can take it though yeah this hurts still hurts hurts quite a bit we're gonna try to take this out we're doing good damage to it because of the strength buff. Daff, you might want to block, buddy. Raging block. Actually, you're the wrong person to block with. I think this would be better to block with and taunt. Ooh wee, 74. On my arm. Oh, no. That was just one of them. We need to get out of here. <laughs> uh, Alright, so this is what we're going to do. Drop everything. 
because Yellow about lost his arm because he's wearing a thing where if he gets hit in that arm, it's no good. All right, so she's underweight. Look at that beautiful stack right there. If we run away, Daff might be able to save himself. Maybe. He doesn't have any, tough, any toughness, so there is that. Gondama, drop your bag and drop this too. We need you light as a feather so we can outrun these things. You lost something. Okay. Yeah, because they about took his arm off one hit. Crazy. Alright. Everybody run at your fullest speed away from these dogs. What's closer? That outpost is pretty close, but we might as well rush back to the to the hub. Um down here maybe? Well, oh, YOLO went down. No, oh, he's crippled. Crip. Why didn't you stay down? Sneak, please. Y'all should be able to outrun these things. At least raging. I don't know about Mariville. Gondam was getting eight. Mariville, run! You can, dude. Just heal yourself. Has Gondaman down, or is he still trying to run? Just don't get hit in the hit in the legs. You'll be all right. Trust me. Run there. Run there. And run there. We'll be able to save Daff, and if they run them off, which they should run them off without getting hit anymore, even though those bone dogs are super fast. Super duper fast. Oh my gosh! Oh, the surgeons! Thank goodness, dude. Here, y'all y'all just come right here. These surgeons will take care of work. That was a close call. If it was one bone dog, it would have been all right. But two bone dogs, not all right. Where are you going? Oh, she didn't get. Marybell is so such a lucky woman. Such a lucky woman, man. <laughs> she didn't get hit at all. How? Are you doing? Yeah, you're fixing dash. Look at him, boys. Yellow saving the day. Raging's fixing Gondama, and Gondama's just, just, he's like, oh, that, that, that's making it feel better. Thank you, good sir. Thank you. On a bright side, though, Daft got up to three toughness with that just, just, just a couple of hits. Easy. Daff's already back up. Yeah, boy. We're going to have to carry YOLO. I don't know where he's even thinking he's going right now. So, you can stop sneaking and just walk a little bit. Probably should have picked up a splint, but we'll just carry him. <laughs> Golly, man. I can't believe about it. Alright, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to have to change out this armor. <laughs> Uh, 12 toughness though, that's not bad. Raging, you get hit? Yeah, 14 toughness, dude. He's got better armor though, so he was able to soak a little bit more. Freaking chads over here. Marvel, zero. <laughs> Alright, we got everybody that's limping carried right now. Get a little bit more extra strength training in. It doesn't really make a difference, right? We got very, very lucky there, though. Remember that, folks. I got lucky. It ain't... It's nothing I did extra. It's just luck. Sometimes I get lucky. 
and we're just going to head over to Iron Haven. Uh, that was a wolf den, so that counted uh, whenever we finished the fight. It said, you know, or we finished. The surgeons finished the fight. Uh, it said the wolf den was wiped. So cool beans, man. Got a, a wolf den wiped out. You can see Iron Haven on the horizon, maybe? I don't know. Like, there's three different places right here and another one right there. So, because, like, Genesis I've played on before, but I don't think I've ever tried to beat it. Like, I've gotten very high up there, but never never done anything over the top with it. So, there's the way station, Iron Haven, and Ruined Settlement. I wonder if it has any ancient science books, because we'll go check it out, but I don't know if we're exactly ready for it just yet. We... I mean, after we got our butts whipped there, I don't, I don't know if we're ready. <laughs> Iron Haven's got some big spenders over here, huh? All right, so let's find, or let's look and see if they have a bed somewhere. There's a bar. Let's go up here, drop off our hurt people, and see what they got to offer. All right, so Gondamos carrying me. And then Maribel's carrying someone else. This looks pretty epic, though. It looks like a place you could buy ancient science books. But I don't see any shops that are annotated here. But it looks awesome. I love it. Oh, hydroponics. Nice. You know, so they're very big on the... I do like this tower, dude. Oh, you can buy this. Freaking awesome. We do have the money to do it. We don't have enough money to buy everything else for it, though. We could go over to a run settlement and find stuff, but it's probably guarded. For being 100% honest, yeah. That thing looks like it's probably got robots in it, especially this building. So we're going to let everybody get healed up, and then we're probably going to mosey on over there and see what's going on. I think we're about to pick up our next person. Everybody is, uh, healed up now. Yeah, well, besides Daph, but he'll heal that over time. I don't know why I pulled him out of bed. Because I wasn't paying attention, probably. Ragin, will you talk to this feller and see what he wants? What are you looking at? You? Well, you're wasting your time. I'm a shell of my former self. Why? Well, what happened? And why should I tell you? Well, maybe I can fix the problem. Ha, huh, that's something that cannot be fixed. I used to be a proud Sheik warrior, and now... Erg, you're persistent. Fine, I'll tell you what happened. A few years ago, while I was still part of the Sheik kingdom, I had, had to leave my family and go fight a war with the Holy Nation. That's when it happened. That's when the dang guards felled me. All it took was a single thief. What did the thief do? He slit the throats of my children. My oh, golly. Lost everything I loved on that day, including my respect for the Shet Kingdom. Can't let that defeat you, man. Long defeated man, huh? Do you really think this is what your family would... Yeah, yeah. Five thousand cats on top of it. Man, I don't want to go up no 10,000 cats. Maybe if you offer a little more. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. Is he really good or... Yeah, yeah, he is. He, he, he's pretty good. He doesn't have... He, he doesn't have any armor, but Shex really don't need armor. It's just an added bonus. He's not like a, you know, amazing guy, but he's good enough. Yolo is still healing. Man. Yeah, he... I'll show you the armor here. It does not have any left arm protection. You can see which one's healing still. <laughs> they about cut that thing off. And if we had that problem, it would have been rough to find some parts. Because uh, then we'd have to go into... Uh, well, not really. We could just go to this way station right here. And they have decent parts there. We're going to go see and test the waters over here. And hopefully we just don't get our faces melted off by robots, but it's not really melted off. It'd be more like smushed off, but you know, you get my drift. Oh, oh, 
Genesis mod developer. I guess he doesn't want me here. Well, that's unfortunate. Priory of Okren. Okay. Yeah. We'll probably get one shot if we mess with this guy too much, but let's go ahead. Let's see what he has to say. There's a little robot here. Daph's talking to him. Huh? What do you want? What is this place? Wouldn't you like to know, Weather Boy? <laughs> yeah, I heard he's got some good humor in here. We're not going to go through it. I'm not going to put you through that. If you want to see it, I mean, let me know in the comments, but not really a priority for me. So now we're heading to Skinner's room. We're really pushing the limits of my party, but... There's a good amount of hungry bandits over here, and if we can get our butts kicked good enough over here and then run back to these way stations, it'll be all right. We're in the Skinner's home. <laughs> Let's see what we can find here, huh? There's someone walking. Oh, that's a group. Who do we got here? If I can actually get to them faster, that would be nice. Hungry bandits. This will be a nice group to fight. Let's try it out. All right, we're fighting. The rest of them don't seem very interested. I guess these are not really good friends of theirs. Yellow is just whipping, whipping them out. He does have pretty good pole arms now though. And he's just got another level of melee attack. Perfect. What is Daft doing? Oh yeah, Daft's heavy, that's why. <laughs> Uh, let's see what we can do here. If we can continue to just, like, tank them, that would be wonderful. But YOLO is only a man, so... Raging, what did you... Uh, you probably got shot by our archers. <laughs> yes. Gotta, gotta, gotta watch out for them archers, huh? Yellow's doing okay right now. Oh, how do you get... Oh, I was clicking on the wrong one. That's why. That dang left arm. Daft, you're the only one. After that, we will uh, be running. Ganma, move back. You're an archer. Should not be doing all this goodiness. I guess it's good toughness training, but... You know what? Just fight. And Maribel will probably have you drop your bag. Raging, if you want to heal yourself real quick. That's why it's good to keep a secondary weapon on people. Ganma Hill, you're going to lose your arm if you don't. <laughs> Do you see the arrow? Marvel's like, F you, Ganova. I'm doing what I want to do. Golly, she is a force to be reckoned with right now, dude. Yellow needs to stop and heal himself. He keeps on getting crippled. I need better legs, and I need a better top for him. But on the plus side, he's 14 toughness now. I mean, let's be honest. That's that's actually really good. Oh, maribel has got, got her legs cut out from her. Okay, okay, I'll see you. Raging, you good? Eh, your stomach. Maybe you're alright. Just don't cut his arm off. <laughs> fun times, fun times. So Daft is playing dead. He's gonna get up and start healing people. I thought I told him to sneak though. All right, they're well away now, so let's go ahead and sneak with Daft. And who needs it first? Who needs to be healed first? Uh, probably Maribel. You're okay, so we're gonna do Maribel first because she's the closest to losing a limb. Daft needs to pick up his backpack. Daft, pick up your backpack. 
Get up, dude. <laughs> Golly. Alright, so... Go heal her first. You shouldn't be passing out anytime soon, right? I mean, your leg's a little hurt, but you're alright. Just toss Gondima to the side while you're, while you're going past him. There you go. We'll get everybody healed up and uh, probably run back to the base. But that was really good training. Like, he's at 7 toughness now. Like, that's that's progress right there, boys. Somehow YOLO is awake with negative 64 on his arm. I thought his knockout point was lower than that. Yeah, KO point is 21, but I guess it's not actual KO'd. You know? Daft, you're good, right? Alright, so go heal, uh, go, go heal Gondima. He needs it. Mari Bell is awake. Yes. Her leg's a little hurt. Oh, no. She's unconscious. Daft, I might need you to drop your backpack again. Actually, why don't... Are you getting hit from somebody? Oh, you're almost done healing yourself. Okay. Raging, you're good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try to stealth KO this guy. Oh, never mind. We tried. Our stealth is 71, but we're I guess we're overweight. No, nah, yeah, we are. Uh, Daff was using a saber. All right, perfect. Daft, heal yourself again, buddy. I think everybody else is pretty safe. I think we got Gondima. Uh, we're going to do this and all heal Gondima. Uh, well, I guess not. He already got healed. Cool. All right, so we're going to get everybody back to safety now. And I'll see you on the flip side. So we're going after another bone dog. I don't see any other ones here. He just took out this bull. So we're going to hope and pray that we can actually do this this time. Might get a little messed up. Don't get hit in the arm. Uh, you probably did. Huh. No? Got me in the stomach that time. Now it's getting me in the arm. Jeez Louise. We should be able to take this guy out. Maybe. You can see that they have higher stats than usual if you've ever played this game. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. Daft got messed up there. We're hoping that we don't shoot them all. I really need someone rocking the saber again. We have it back in base. But this is, this is okay. We do need to tell you and the uh, and Daft to sneak whenever you wake back up, so we can go ahead and save people. We'll probably run away with Mariville and Gondima. Yeah, go ahead and run away. What is the closest location? Iron Haven. Yeah, go ahead. We're just training still, so don't. Don't be too bothered by it. Where are they at? There you go. Ganma's going to get whipped. Keeps on letting that thing go on there like that. No, Maribel. Go. I don't know why she's bugged. But it's funny. Dude, go. She's kind of running. She might actually get knocked down this time. Gondam is the only one that's going to make it. Yep. Alright, so YOLO, you should be okay. Raging, you're alright. We might lose our arm this time, though. <laughs> Being 100% honest. Uh, well, if, if Daff wakes up, which he should, we should be okay. Just got 38 seconds and a dream. As long as Mario doesn't get ate by the wolf, you should be alright. That wolf should have chased him. 
If not, we're gonna run back and uh, sacrifice Gondva. Not really. I'm not gonna sacrifice him. Just, just you know, try to get the try to bait the wolf off of a uh, uh, Mari Bell. All right, buddy. I'm gonna need you to uh, go ahead and first aid yourself. Mari Bell, you good? Yeah, you're fine. You just took a little beating. So a little close there. Uh, the wolf. Just walk right past Daff. That's why you get your sneaking up a little bit higher, so you can sneak past those those pesky, pesky wolves. But we're going to get everybody healed back up again and do it all over again. Getting some decent training out of this. Like, he's got 17, 19. He about lost his arm. He about died. She's got 8 now. That's kind of... She went from 0 to 8, by the way. That's... Really, really good. Ghana was gonna come pick up a uh, yellow, and hopefully, uh, we can walk with him. Uh, once we get raging good, we'll get everything help, get everything all healed up in the beds. So uh, we got pretty much everybody healed up, besides raging and uh, and yolo, and they're the ones that are literally take the brunt of the damage. We try not to let our archers take too much. I mean, it's good for them to get their toughness up, but it's not ideal for them to take that much damage. Because you want them to have all their limbs still. There is stuff that, there is robotic parts that you can use to actually do better, but it's not going to be like what you think. Can we see this little ruin right here? Ancient Citadel Ruin. We're going to go check it out. I haven't really seen anybody. What is this? Okay, it's just ruins that are not clickable. So we're going to go and see what's in here. Probably not a whole lot. Probably just some broken things or nothing. It's just aesthetic. But pretty cool to see. Nothing really here, huh? Bunch of drones over there. And the coastline. No, that's not the coastline. We're not that close yet. We still have uh, a ways to go to get to the coastline. That's the Deadlands. Yeah, that makes more sense. We're going to go ahead and keep on continuing on in Skinner's Room and see what we can find. I've been looking for some bandits, but nothing's popped up just yet. So this is a destroyed house, and there is something right here. Hungry Bandit. That is a lot of Hungry Bandits. What is that? Defensive wall, holy military base. Okay. Probably a safe zone. If I had to guess. Let's do this. And see if we can get around them. Holy crap. Um, yeah, they're already attacking, right? Yeah, we don't want to take on about 70 of them. That's about 70, if I had to guess. It's quite a bit. We can get some new weapons if I want to, but don't really see anything that really strikes me. It'd be nice to get a blue. Oh, a desert saber. You know what, Daft? You're cool with the katanas, but I'd rather you... How much is this worth? not even worth keeping I'd rather you run a desert saber instead so let's go ahead and get the desert saber and I'll probably get that heavy jit too eh well he's got the triangle yellow you grab the heavy jit yes and oh wait a minute it's, uh, I'm thinking of a small jit <laughs> uh, whoopsie can't use it in that slot. Do they have a regular one? No, uh, just triangle beat. Oh, there is a tr regular jit right here. This should be usable in this slot. So let's just move you down here. Move you in here. Yeah. I don't know why the other. Maybe it's one too long. Maybe. But really good for like indoor fights. 
if you ever get into that section of the game. But you should. I mean, indoor fights are where... What is a Tessin? Paladin's Cross is a good weapon, too. That Desert Saber ain't too bad, huh? Tessin. Let's see here. Uh, I don't see it. Did I not grab it? Oh, no. Here it is. Huh. It's a katana. Looks like a little broken blade katana. Hmm. Plus 12 on the indoor bonus? What? Oh, but they they nerfed it with the robots. Okay, I got you. It's pretty cool. It's cool seeing new uh, no battle hoe. It's not too bad. It's cool seeing all the new weapons that are in uh, Genesis. Because some of these were not in here. A razor saber. Eh, no, those aren't that great. Mercenary clubs good for for our archers, but that's about it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go over here and see what's going on. So it's a little broken. By a little, I mean it is just completely demolished. What happened here? Y'all got beat up by somebody, huh? It didn't say it's. It says old holy military base. They did not withstand Hoover was here unless just enough starving bandits got to tire of their crap and beat them to death, but you don't really see that happen too much, especially with the Holy Nation. Who are these people? Dust Bandit Bowman. I can talk to them? Neato. So this place has an oil drill and it's a, a black cinder mine. I wonder if I can actually use this. It's probably, ooh, there's a book. Okay, we'll be picking that up. Actually, I think this is where you start out at whenever you do the five nobodies on Genesis. If I remember cor correctly. So we can't mine it, which is no fun. We can loot it, but not mine it. Manual oil drill. Okay, that's old drill three. So someone's working it. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get out of this. Okay, so you just get oil out of here. That's that's neat. Huh? You have to literally, whenever it's not yours, you have to right click it and hold it and so you can get up to this point if you didn't know oil does not sell for a whole lot it's not like uh nowadays so we can't really do anything with it i guess uh we can check the fuel storage oh no okay those are bulls they're not gonna kill us i don't think at least <laughs> hopefully not that is nasty looking over there, huh? Got a storm coming in or something like that? Moo. Yes. Oh, God. I did not see the Triangle Bandits. All right, boys. We should be fairly matched against them, so let's see what we can, add, what we can do. Gondama, go over here. Mari, go over here. Raging, I would like... Actually, you know, who has a daft? I want you to do this. We're going to have daft block, and it gives him plus 17, so he gets 30 defense. And we're going to have him taunt, so hopefully we can get his melee defense up even more. It's not very high right now, but it will go up. It will skyrocket off this fight. So let's hope that he gets them all. I didn't want it to go fast mode like that. Raging and YOLO. Y'all need to not get hit.
We're just gonna try to kite as much as we can and let them shoot. There you go. Mario Bell's peppering him. So we need her to kite now. Someone with Mario Bell's character makes her bug out for whatever reason. That's just weird, man. I can't kite with everybody because it's just so much going on. They got you, got your left arm, huh? Plus side is we're already at man raging is. We need to get the same art. We get we need mercenary plate. So maybe after this, we'll probably run back over to Squin and I believe that's the name of it. Where's that? Yes, yeah, Squin and get more armor. We have 16k. We can afford some of it. In Gondama, I need you to kite too, buddy. I wish there was a kite button, but unfortunately there's not. Raging, you're freaking doing great, dude. Really wonderful. Maribel, I need you to run like the wind over here. Man, gone to my YouTube, man. Just run. If I can get Raging to just tank them, that would be probably the best. Yep, oh, Raging's down. So we're gonna sneak with you and sneak with Daff. Daff will be probably the one to come up. Actually, it'd probably be me. It could be Raging too. He didn't get really too messed up, but we'll see. Gone, oh, she got knocked out. Oh, he got knocked out too. Dang. Very unfortunate. But we'll live to fight another day. That's the whole point of this game, man. You got to get your butt kicked. And you can see we're getting our toughness up. She didn't get a whole lot this time. She only got one point. Daff got two. I got one. Raging got like four. That's just, we need better armor. Well, we're back at the hub. There's some, there's some fighting going on. We're get, we're just here to check on the prisoner, pretty much. Don't want him to be starving, right? Oh, he's he's good. He's good. Uh, let's see. Yellow, check him out. Make sure he is fully good. Holy cow, dude! We got some. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Those go on. We've been gone for days. So, with that being said, pretty happy with that. That way, we can keep this prisoner alive for as long as we want. So we're going down to Squin. We're about to do some shopping. Yellow definitely needs new armor. The one he's wearing is really good on the parts that does protect, but he doesn't have the toughness to to soak like we want him to on his arm that is exposed. So once he does have the toughness, yeah, he could wear armor like this, but right now, not really. And everybody needs needs new pants. So let's see what we can get here. Uh might as well get the mercenary leather or something close to it for YOLO because we're going to get rid of this. It gives you a good melee attack bonus, but <laughs> if we're doing martial arts, yeah, great. Like It gives you plus two to that. Minus on your defense is no fun, though. He can't buy this? Here. There you go. Worth a pretty penny as you can see but the armor brags just would it makes more sense actually samurai 
makes more sense because uh, this you have an exposed belly this you're pretty much covered you know and our left arm's a little uncovered but it's not horrible we could do mercenary plate like this 90 70 90 100 but why not spend a little bit extra maybe not that extra but a little bit extra <laughs> I do like the plate jacket just because it has 100% across. It's just not the safest one to wear, though, because you can cover everything by 100% by using other things. So do I want to spend the 6K for this? Is there any other samurai armor? Ooh, wee, those are nice pants, too. And the plated drifter legs are really nice too compared to this like 60 60 but it does have really good like it's a high grade armored rag skirt we took us off a of dust bandit boss so but we changed that for this that is 5900 right there boys i don't know if i want to get rid of it or not maybe i'll give it to her but i'm not 100 percent for sure what I want to do with it and this guy definitely needs new pants these are like if you're doing you know <laughs> uh, let's go ahead it's for if you're doing martial arts this will be even better it, it even tells you minus 10 martial arts so let's go ahead and go like this and that and sell I'm trying to make Daff the tank of tanks all right So, you need to at least. I got 15,000. I'm going to do this. This armor is good enough, right? It's 90, 70, 90, 100. And it is standard grade. So, we need some a pair of pants for both of these guys. Less so him, more so this guy. So if we can find a good, uh, well, high grade drifter pants. Yeah. It doesn't cover the stomach though. It's the only bad thing is it does not cover the stomach. But it is chain, so it's better against arrows. You know what? You know? a little bit of money thank you autosave for always messing with my videos we're gonna do that and we're down to 5k now it's not horrible but we can live a lot longer now do we want to get ahead for her we don't want anything that gets rid of perception bonus yeah so minus melee Minus crossbow. <laughs> this will be all right. Standard grade. I do like the armor face plates. They're pretty easy to make too. Whenever you actually got the base. So let's go ahead and change this out. It gets rid of her perception bonus, but she already has super high perception. And you, sir, we need to get you one of these as well. It's gonna make us a little bit broke. Well, right click it, I guess. And we might need to get them some new bolts as well. But look how cool they look now. Holy cow. So freaking cool. This helmet, good enough. It's 90% at high grade. <laughs> Cannot complain about that. What is this? A Sheck Brute Plank. Okay. I, I don't know what that does, but it's hard, heavy armor class. Where does it go? Melee defense plus 15. Wow. I don't even know where this goes. It's uh, it's a shield, so does it go on the belt? Yeah. It looks like it goes on the belt. How much does it cost? 448? You know what, dude? Daft. Take this. Uh, Daft's going to be my tank, all right? He's got the saber. Just makes sense for him to be a tank. Let's go ahead and get rid of all this weight for him. He needs to be a little bit stronger for all the armor, but I mean, realistically, 
we're not hurting too bad on it, right? But anyways, after all that shopping's done, we've been playing for quite a bit of time. I think that it's a good spot to call it here. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Don't be afraid to share with your friends, your family. I'm family friendly anyways, so I'll see you on the next one, everybody. Have a great day, and don't forget to write in the comments of your suggestions. All right, goodbye.